I could not do what I do without technology. I am wired in all the time, but I make it seamless so it's easy. I have a .Mac account, which seems like a, a, a commercial, <laughs> but it's, uh, I have no affiliation, but I love the fact that I can store my files uh, in, uh, somewhere in, the, in space and I can always get access to them. And my email is seamless for that reason as well. The other thing about technology that I've realized is if you really want to communicate to folks when they're ready to hear it, which is important, you've got to do it on the web. Although I love doing television, if folks aren't ready to hear the message that I'm delivering uh, when I'm on the tube, it doesn't have much of an impact. And by creating a, a fairly robust web element to all the things we're doing to teach people about health, I'm giving people news they can use when they want it. Think about the last time you got on a plane. Right? The stewardess starts going on moaning about how to put the seatbelts on and the emergency experts, sort of like in Charlie Brown when the prince went wah, 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 wah. Right? You ferret it all out, you filter it, nothing gets through. But what if 35,000 feet, if the plane shakes? Right? Now, now you want to clue in. Now you care about the emergency exit and, and exactly how do I get the oxygen masks down if they fall? And those are the kinds of questions we want to answer when people are asking them. So I want to use the web in particular to give folks the information that is absolutely essential for their well-being at their fingertips.